Well, I mean, you go through many different emotions. Your emotions are, you know, whether you're going to be finding when you get there, uh, especially depending on the, the worst calls, uh, meaning that if it's a structure fire with a person trapped, or it's an auto accident with a person, uh, it's a pin job, what we call a pin job, a person trapped in the vehicle. Uh, what's going through your head is that, you know, are you going to be able to perform the top of your ability? Is your equipment going to be able to perform to the top of its ability? And it's a, you know, your drone is going 110%. And, you know, when you get there, you're trying to put the all that into perspective to do the job that you best can do. In a 31-year career, there's been a lot that's happened. I've seen a lot. There's certain things that get your heart pumping and other things that do not. But when you get called for a house fire with uh, possibly people trapped, a serious auto accident, multiple vehicles, uh, stuff like that gets you thinking about things and gets your adrenaline running a little bit, especially if it's somebody that you know. The last one that I actually ran the pump on was uh, the Gap facility down in Fishkill. I want to say a 900,000 square foot warehouse. I pumped the uh, engine for probably six hours that night. That was a very, very large fire. I want to say before I became a training officer, we've had a pretty serious fire in the middle of town. It was a hardware store. I got there pretty quick, came across, and they, hey, listen, we need somebody to go in. So I said, let's go. I'm not going to back it down. And uh, had the camera, and it got hot. And I had a whole bunch of young guys with me. And I was like, oh, man, I can't do this. We fought it for a little bit, we backed out. You know, there's times where I was scared. I mean, you're putting people in harm's way, no different than a general does to his soldiers. I don't think we've lost anybody in a very long time. But when you lose somebody's family member, you did everything you could to try and save them, but you couldn't, you gotta face them. That's hard. I've shed a lot of tears over the years doing that stuff. I wanna say the hardest part is dealing with people that are hurt. I try to tell a lot of guys, talk, communicate. But I tell you, I don't think there's any class that's going to tell you or tell anybody here how they're going to be able to handle that. We helped out 9-11. We helped out with a super storm that came through, Sandy. And we've helped in snowstorm, major snowstorms upstate New York where we got deployed. We'll go anywhere that we're needed and we have people, again, will drop their lives in a heartbeat uh, to help others. And that's what makes this place the way it is. But you know what, though? It's great because in a lot of ways, we do a hell of a job. I mean, I've been to a lot of cool fires where fire was rolling over our head, and it was like, yo, this is the coolest thing in the world. You can't do anything better than this. When I was a, a chief officer, one of the best things that you can do as a chief officer is get to see your people work. And you see them taking care of families and people that are injured, taking care of their property. And it brings a, a lot of pride to you because, you know, you're all working as part of a team and that's your family. But it's a very big honor to, to represent the people of this department. I, every volunteer department in this area, it's, it's all the same type of people that all come together to take care of problems. I've got a lot of great people in this department that work with me hand in hand for a lot of years. I've got lifelong friendships, and uh, when the chips are down, everything, everybody comes together and really forms a family, and that's, that's what it's all about. It's a lot of people doing a lot of work. Certainly do appreciate the efforts of all the members of this department because they, they, they train hard, they spend a lot of time, they're really dedicated volunteers, and they spend a lot of time and efforts to put forth for this department to make us do what we do and provide the excellent service that we do to the community.